How's it going everyone? Before this video starts, I just wanted to say if you're enjoying this content that we're putting out, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We always appreciate the support, it is much appreciated, but don't forget to tap the subscribe button and you'll be first to see all our videos that are coming up. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys? I'm Ross from Seconds Out Fight Store. Today we're reviewing the Cleto Rays glove that I get asked the most variety of questions about, probably out of any glove whatsoever on the market. <laughs> uh, this is the Cleto Rays Universal or Hybrid Training Gloves. So I'm going to start this review by answering a few of the questions that I get asked the most. Um, the chances are you're probably wondering either one or all of these questions yourself. So we'll start with question one, why is it called hybrid? Uh, the answer to that is because it's got Velcro, and laces on it so the benefit of this is if you're training with somebody else you can get them to lace the glove up for you and then you use the velcro strap for an even better wrist support if you're just training on your own you can tie this velcro and um, this uh, lace bit here just on like a standard knot and then slip your hand in um, and then use a velcro strap on its own so it's called a hybrid because you've got velcro and laces on them Question two, is it a bag glove or a sparring glove? The answer to this is both, but I definitely recommend these as a bag glove more than a sparring glove. Um, it's a bit of a strange one. This kind of links into question three a wee bit, but on the glove, it's uh, it's not done in weight. Like a standard boxing glove will come in 10 to 16 ounce. This glove comes in extra small to large. So you can see this glove here has got CH written on it. Um, a lot of Cleo Ray's products in the size small have got CH on it instead of the small. I don't know why they do it, it's very strange. We've got the exact same glove in the shop here and it's got S written on it. So if you do happen to have a Cleto Ray's product and you see CH, um, then it just means it's a size small. So yeah, I don't know why they do that, but it's a bit random. But that's the first reason why I recommend this more as a bag glove, because when you go into most gyms, they want to see that your glove weighs a certain ounce before they'll let you use it as a sparring glove. For adults, that's usually 14 ounce or 16 ounce. So if you're going in with this glove and it just says, small on it for example then it's going to be a moment a bit more difficult for your coach to know whether it's going to be suitable for sparring so whilst you can use this as a sparring glove i definitely recommend it more as a bag glove and when we look at the weight of the glove as well and um, this um children's size or small anyway is weighing 13 ounces so it's just about on the cusp of what you could use as a sparring glove each glove's handmade and weighs slightly more so it's not out with the realms of possibility that you could get this glove and it weighs 14 ounce. Um, if you try and use this glove as a sparring glove in 14 ounce, you're gonna do some serious damage to somebody because it is a proper, tight, snug, compact fitting glove with very limited padding in it. So there's absolutely no danger whatsoever. I would recommend any adult using this as a sparring glove just because it weighs almost 14 ounce or is a 14 ounce glove. When we look at the medium size, then you're looking at about 16 ounce. And then when you're looking at the large size, that can be up to 18 ounce. So the weights of these gloves are very deceiving. Like I said, there is absolutely no way that anybody should be using this as an adult, as a sparring glove. Potentially a kid could use it as a sparring glove, but I definitely wouldn't recommend using it um, as a sparring glove as an adult so yeah when you look at each weight that's a rough idea of what each uh, each size weighs but that can be a wee bit different depending like i said because each glove is handmade the extra small glove in this for example is advertised at about i think on cleto ray's website it says it's about 12 ounce or 11 ounce um, but it is a proper tiny fitting glove like I struggle to get my hands in it so as a rough size guide if you're looking at these gloves the extra small I think is about the equivalent of a six to eight ounce kids glove the size small is about the equivalent in terms of size of about a 10 ounce adult glove the medium is probably near about a 14 ounce and the large is in about a 16 or an 18 ounce. That's it's quite a bit bigger, that glove. So that's in terms of the size, not the weight. So it gives you a rough idea. Like there's absolutely no way whatsoever you'd ever as an adult be able to put your hands in an extra small of these gloves. Even the small size is a really nice tight fit, which a lot of people like. It gives you a nice fight glove feel, but that's not for everybody. So when you're looking at the sizing of these gloves, I definitely recommend the extra small for kids, the small for an adult that wants a really tight fitting glove, if you've got bigger hands, then um, I would go for the medium or you're maybe an adult that just wants a heavier bag glove, go for the medium. And then if you've got much bigger hands or you're a heavyweight guy, then definitely go for the large. Question four, what is the difference between the standard Cleto Ray's sparring glove and this universal training glove? So the main difference is this is a slightly shorter wrist cuff. Um, we've got one of the, the Cleto Ray's sparring gloves in the packaging here. So this glove here has got a longer wrist cuff on it. 
This one is a much shorter cuff. Of course, it's got the Velcro and the lace-up system where the standard sparring gloves have just got either Velcro or laces depending on which one you buy. They're both made from the same premium quality Cleto Rays leather. They've got the same logo, everything else, but it is a very different glove. So that's a few of the questions that we get asked in the shop about these gloves. The next thing I want to show you is the, the hand compartment on the glove. So I'm going to try this glove on myself and let you see what the hand compartment is like in the small size. Um, this is definitely my favorite size of these gloves. It's a proper, nice, like I said, nice, tight, compact fitting glove. When I put my hand into this glove for the first time, it really does feel like a fight glove. It's very, just kind of wraps around my hand. Um, obviously, I can't get the laces done up properly, so we're just going to use the Velcro. The wrist strap, the Velcro wrist strap properly wraps around your wrist. It really gives you a really snug, tight fit round here. So this is without hand wraps on as well. And um, so the wrist support is incredible on them. And that's without having these laces tied as well. It is very, very easy to make a fist. You can see that this is me completely relaxing my fist just here. And you can see it's very, very simple to make a fist. So I don't have to try hard. The leather does feel quite stiff to begin with, but the way the hand compartment is shaped, you can see just there, it's very, very easy to make a fist. My hand isn't wide open like a lot of gloves. So it's a really great selling point for these gloves. If you're gonna be using them for hitting the bag, then you're, it's very, very easy to make a fist. So you're not gonna to have to worry about hurting your hands or anything like that in the first few uses. The thumb and the fingertip compartments, there is, fairly decent amount of room in there it doesn't it feels quite tight and snug for the small size if i was wearing hand wraps then it would be you know quite difficult to get my hand in to start off with if you've got anything bigger than average hands then i definitely recommend going up a size and um, this is a i could probably just get away with this small size as a bag glove with my hand wraps on as well but if you've got kind of bigger hands then it is going to be definitely worth going up to the medium but my fingertips don't feel like they're sort of squashed or poking out the end of the glove or anything like that. It's a really great hand compartment. Very, very comfortable. It doesn't feel like a soft inside lining. It's quite a tough, hard, firm inside lining. The uh, inside lining is like sweat proof material. Uh, so it's quite different from a lot of gloves that are out there, but it's a really beautiful hand compartment. Um, fits perfect. That, like I said, if you want a kind of like a bag, like a fight glove feel in your bag glove, then this one's an excellent shout. They're made, like I said, from the Cleto Rays premium quality leather, um, handmade in Mexico. And when you get the gloves for the first time, I'm going to give you a couple of tips on what to look for in fakes because unfortunately there is a lot of fakes out there. It's never ever something that we entertain in the slightest. So if you are buying these gloves from, from seconds out, then you can be rest assured that you're buying the real product. Um, we're an official Cleto Rays distributor. And that's the first thing you want to look for is that you're buying these gloves from a reputable seller because you don't want to be spending that kind of money and then a fake turns up and you've just had, you know, £200 completely wasted. So the first thing you'll notice when you get the gloves is they should be vacuum sealed like this. All Cleto Ray's gloves come like this. And um, they've got the label just here with the Cleto Ray's logo, the barcode, the weight that you're getting in the gloves. So that's one quick way to tell that you're getting the real product. As soon as you open up the gloves for the first time, you get that really distinct Cleto Rays leather smell. It's like nothing else. If you've had a pair of Rays gloves before, you'll definitely understand what I mean. Um, so that's another way that you'll notice the chances are if it's a fake, it's not going to be made from that premium quality leather and you won't have that strong leather smell that comes off when you open the package in. The next step, you can see just, I don't know if you can see this here. We might need to show you this in a wee second when we look at the gloves up close, but there is a... Um, Cleo Ray's logo and batch number embossed into the glove just there. So this has got Cleo Ray's 4S6231. So again, if you're buying a fake, I don't think they'll be going to all this hassle to do that sort of these sort of wee small touches. Um, there's also a label, a caution label just here. There's a Cleo Ray's logo just here and another one you won't be able to see on the inside of the glove. So these are a few things to look out for when you're buying these gloves. Like I said, you don't want to be spending that kind of money and even risking not getting anything else than the real product. Okay, so this is a up close look at the Cleto Rays Universal or Hybrid Training Gloves. As you can see just there, there's the large Cleto Rays logo screen printed onto the glove. If we make our way down, this Cleto Rays logo on the wrist strap is actually embroidered on. And you can see, like I was saying earlier, this glove is a size small, but sometimes you'll see on Cleto Ray's products, it's got CH instead of the S. Um, on the inside of the glove, you can see that lovely two-tone design with the black touches on the inside of the thumb, the black stitching and inside piping. 
and we've got that lace up design and the velcro strap as well on the inside in the palm there is a bar grip but i don't know if you'll be able to see um on the inside of the glove just there there is a bar grip but it's a very small bar grip but because it's so easy to make a fist with these gloves you don't really need a, a big thick chunky bar grip at all um, the stitching is all very good quality very clean very smooth and there's a inside padded area just there to protect you if you are using this as a sparring glove and one of the touches i was saying earlier on about how to notice the fakes you can see just there the Cleto Rays logo and barcode number just there embossed into the glove. So again, something that you're probably not going to see in all the fakes. So they are beautiful, very simple, very clean boxing gloves. Um, classic, classic design from Cleto Rays, as you'd expect. So my overall feedback on these gloves, if you're looking for a real quality, hardware and durable boxing glove, then this is an excellent option. They come in five or six different colors you've got a black white blue red yellow mexican flag i think you've got pink as well so there's loads of great colors to choose from but these gloves aren't for everybody and um, of course they do come with a bit of a price tag so they're sometimes out with some people's budgets but they're a brilliant investment one slight issue i do have with these gloves in terms of when we've been selling them is sometimes this logo here can be prone to wearing away or peeling off completely within the first few wears not a massive amount for all the Cleto Rays gloves we've sold. We've maybe had this happen to about three or four pairs maybe, but it's enough to make you, you know, just want to warn people about that before they buy the gloves. So again, make sure you're buying them from a reputable seller. Of course, when this happens to our customers, we exchange them for a brand new pair straight away. And you want to make sure you're going to get the same sort of service with whoever you're buying these gloves from. But they are very durable, very hard wearing. The quality of the leather, the hand compartment, the inside lining, everything is absolute premium. So they are worth investing, you know, a couple of hundred pounds on because they're definitely going to last you. They range in price, the extra small ones start at about £175, uh, the large ones are 230 and then the other two sizes in between. So um, very well priced for the amount of time that you're going to get out of them and the quality that you're buying. If you'd like to check out these gloves and lots more, you can do on our website at seconds-out.co.uk where we've got worldwide shipping. Have a look through all the colours, the various sizes that are available. We've always got plenty of stock of these gloves. And like I said, we've got worldwide shipping as well. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We've got lots more videos coming very soon. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for the support. I always appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.